This is Balin with Diesel Conversion Specialists, and in this video, I will be showing the steps on how to record and save a data log when connected to your truck. Now, this method will be used with a laptop computer in the truck while you are driving, connected to either the X3 or X4 tuner. Uh, the tuner connected to the OBD2 cable of the truck, and then the computer connected into the tuner. Now the first step is we want to conveniently place the trans.cf4 file onto a folder on our desktop. This process is the same as how we saved our custom tune file to our SCT tunes folder in the previous step. As you can see I saved my trans.cf4 file into a folder titled trans right here. And once you have your TransCF4 file saved into a convenient spot, we can go ahead and open up the LiveLink Gen 2 program. Now once the program boots up, the first step we want to do is load that TransCF4. This program automatically picks out and pre-selects what signals to record from your truck. So we can go ahead up top here and hit load configuration and go on our desktop and search for the folder titled trans. So that's where we saved it, trans and our trans CF4 and hit open. And this is where it will load the pre-selected signals. And as you can see we have nine signals here. At the bottom there are nine items. If you have more or less than nine items you have loaded the wrong file and please go back and reload the trans.cf4 file that we would have sent you. And once you have the nine items showing at the bottom of your screen here, go ahead and hit communication. And then we can hit check communication. The program will now check for communication between the SCT tuner and the truck. And if communication is successful, you will see your tuner information here in the status box. And if the communication is good to go, we can go ahead and click View. And right here, left hand of the screen, we have an iPod looking device with a green circle next to it. This is our record button. And when you are all good to go, you can start driving the truck and hit record. And it's best to take about a five to 10 minute log with several shift points and several speeds so we can get a good idea of how the truck is driving at many different speeds and shifts. Once you have completed the first test drive of your truck, we can go ahead and take a look at our data log here. And as you can see, we have nice steady shifts. You can go ahead and scroll along this data log. And this is exactly what we are looking for many different speeds and shift points so we can really get a feel of what the truck is doing at a different range of speeds. Now, in order to save the data log and send it over to us for evaluation, we can go right up here in this blue box and hit save and then data log. And I'm just going to conveniently place this back into the trans folder where I saved my trans CF4 file so I can find it when I want to send it in an email attachment. Go ahead and save your data log. We'll just double check here that the data log is saved. And there it is. So you can go ahead and email that over to us into an email attachment. And we can further evaluate it and make changes if needed. Thank you.